the, for the Catholic, though, we've got a bit more. We have miracles, right? We have, um, we have, we believe, you know, in mass that the Eucharist is the actual body of Christ. This is astonishing, madness, madness. But we have Eucharistic miracles. Now, what a fascinating Eucharistic miracle is in Poland, which I cannot pronounce. I pronounce it as it looks, Sokolka, but it's Sokolka, is something like that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> wherever it is in Poland, in in the uh, the Sokolka, uh, right? Was it um, was it 2008? A host began to be, um, turned, part of it turned to flesh. Now that's that's what we say. Well, we've got that. They've got that host in Poland. It's been examined. The flesh on that host is heart flesh, heart muscle. It's not been some crafty kind of um, fraudster who's gone in late at night. To or, be honest, those sort of things don't. I mean, uh, they don't convince me so much. All right. Miracles. All right. I'll finish that. I'll finish that though. It's like um, it's not actually sewn in. To the host, so you can see where the host ends and the flesh begins. It merges; the two merge together, which is fascinating. So it halves, wafer halves. Uh, it's like the 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 the, the, the um, dividing line between the wafer and the flesh is imperceptible. They mer the one merges into the other. So it's not that somebody's actually added on the flesh to the bread, where you'd see no it would be completely perceptible. The dividing line, and the other one I'll give you, though it's not. I know it's what you've said. Is um, there's others, but I'll take Fatima because there, between 70,000 and 100,000 people said they saw miraculous signs in the sky um, in on October the 13th, 1917, when they were gathered, gathered at a place called Fatima, um, Portugal. Portugal. Now, the point about this is a couple of points. Atheists who there, for example, the deputy editor of the um, of the of the Masonic secular newspaper called O Seculo, converted to the Catholic faith because of what he saw. Then, if you look at the, the fact that there were so many people there, 70 to 100,000, they were called there by the, by the three little village kids who said the Blessed Virgin Mary called them there because she'd work a great miracle. And people saw the sun spinning and all this kind of stuff. Now, a, skeptics say, oh, something happened then. We accept something happened because the witness statements are, are there and I've got a book of them. But what happened is the key. Some say flying saucers, some say other things, but the, this acknowledgement that something really did happen is fascinating. Okay, that's the miracle side of it. So stuff going on in our, in our day and age and stuff going on in the past. I don't know what else we could give. <laughs>